Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to the channel and today DLC 3 The United Front is available for pre-downloads two days before the actual release and the way you can pre-download the DLC is by heading over to the Call of Duty World War 2 application on your home screen. Scroll down until you see the PSN store icon and then select the United Front DLC pack number three and then of course click on it and then proceed to checkout and there you go. The DLC should start downloading right after that. The download is going to be coming in at 6.6 .6 gigs and uh, yeah go ahead and install this as soon as possible so that way come Tuesday you won't have to do any downloading for the map pack you might have to install the update to make everything go live of course in that update we are going to be getting a couple of cool items to keep the game fresh if you did not know one of which is going to be a new division called Calvary and uh, obviously you are going to notice the giant riot shield that the person is holding from this image posted last week in Sledgehammer's weekly update so more than likely this is going to be kind of a defensive division setup here. I'm really not sure what kind of little perks are going to come with this division and also if you will even be able to shoot your gun while holding the riot shield out or even if the shield is going to be locked to the cavalry division specifically but I really would love to know what you guys have to say about this down below in the comment section and also another really cool little image I want to touch base on really quick is this picture from reddit user reviews and it's showing his custom division loadout with the codename for a commando division so maybe this is going to be a new division or it's going to be a, a placeholder for the Calvary division. I'm not sure either way but people have been seeing this commando division for a while now and I even made a video about it in the past before so maybe that's going to come up sometime in the future here but I'm still not entirely sure. Again I really would love to know what you guys have to say about this down below in the comment section. And of course we are going to be getting some new weapons in supply drops but the only weapon I could find from the gameplay footage of the new maps and update is called the ZK3 83 and the image you see is from my good buddy Jordan or Eli Espresso and you can see the ZK gun on the ground here I did some research on this weapon and this gun is a submachine gun that can be mounted to the ground via a bipod very very unique weapon here that was developed by the Czechs in 1938 again this is the only weapon I could find there could be a few more coming in the update but this submachine gun is the only one from the numerous gameplay footage I've seen on YouTube from the uh, other youtubers that were flown out to the capture event and they were also able to get their hands on three new basic trainings and they all sound really really fun to use. The first one is called Specialist and it may ring a bell because it was in Modern Warfare 3 which is backwards compatible by the way uh, but this perk will allow you to unlock all basic training perks instead of getting score streaks and you start off by picking three basic trainings and you can unlock a new one at 200, 400, and 600 score then once you hit 800 score you unlock every single basic basic training perk for as long as you are alive and if you die sadly that's going to reset your uh, basic training perks but yeah it's it's really fun to use I did love it a lot back in MW3 the next perk is called Wonderlust and essentially it's like gun game inside of a basic training perk because you are going to be able to spawn a random gun by pressing triangle every time you spawn or even want to use the the little basic training perk and you can have up to six attachments on the gun and yeah it sounds really really fun and really cool to use. The last perk is called Escalation and basically after you get a kill you are going to be able to ADS a little bit faster and as an added bonus if you get multi kills your mag will instantly refill and this basic training perk to me sounds like it's the best one out of the three new perks in my opinion. I think if you are going to be a heavy rusher with a submachine gun or you like to run again with an AR then this basic training perk is going to be your biggest friend. It's going to benefit you a lot for sure especially on small maps such as shipment because you are going to be able Able to get multi kills and literally as soon as you take a foot off spawn you are going to be able to kill someone so yeah multi kills will come pretty quick and really just kills in general I can really see this being ran by a lot of players for sure so guys that's going to be it for everything to expect come Tuesday again you can pre download the DLC right now I don't think you can though if you are from Australia or the UK because it seems like for some reason every time these guys are, are never able to download the DLC early uh, but maybe try and let others know down below in the comments. Also tell me your thoughts on the new content coming Tuesday and be sure to follow me on my social media. I don't really promote my Twitter and, and really that's all the social media I have guys. If you really want to get in contact with me and know when I post videos 
or really just know anything I'm doing with my life, go follow me on Twitter. It's at Mr. The Reverse, the same way spelled as my YouTube name. I don't really promote my social media on YouTube, but I think I'm going to start doing it more often now because uh, I think Twitter is a great tool for you guys to, you know, get in contact with me and know what I'm going to be doing in life. So yeah, be sure to follow me, guys. There is going to be a link to it down below along with other links I talked about in the video. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. Thank you.